Welcome back to our educational channel. Today, we are going to explore the fascinating world of the excretory system and delve into some common disorders associated with it. So, let's dive right in. The excretory system is responsible for filtering waste materials, regulating water levels, and maintaining electrolyte balance in our bodies. However, at times, this complex system can encounter disorders, leading to various health issues. Let's begin with uremia, a condition that occurs when the kidneys fail to effectively remove waste products from the blood. As a result, these waste products, such as urea and creatinine, accumulate in the bloodstream. Uremia can manifest with various symptoms, including fatigue, nausea, loss of appetite, and even neurological changes. According to the NCERT, the underlying causes of uremia can be diverse, ranging from chronic kidney disease to severe kidney infections or blockages. Moving on to another disorder, let's discuss glucosuria. Glucosuria is a condition characterized by the presence of glucose in the urine. Under normal circumstances, the kidneys reabsorb glucose from the urine back into the bloodstream. However, in cases of high blood sugar levels or impaired kidney function, glucose can be excreted in the urine. Glucosuria can be an indication of uncontrolled diabetes or kidney damage. It is important to monitor blood sugar levels and consult a healthcare professional for appropriate management. Let's now discuss ketonuria, a condition characterized by the presence of ketone bodies in the urine. Ketones are produced when the body breaks down fat for energy instead of glucose. While ketones can be a normal metabolic byproduct in certain situations, such as during fasting or a low carbohydrate diet, their presence in urine can be indicative of underlying health issues. Ketone bodies in the urine can be a sign of poorly controlled diabetes, fasting, or even conditions like ketoacidosis. If you detect ketones in your urine, it is important to seek medical attention to identify the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. Let's explore another disorder known as renal calculi, commonly referred to as kidney stones. These are hard deposits that form in the kidneys. Factors such as dehydration, mineral imbalances, and certain medical conditions can contribute to their formation. Kidney stones vary in size and composition and often cause severe pain when they obstruct the urinary tract. They form when substances like calcium, oxalate, or uric acid accumulate and crystallize in the kidneys. Treatment options for kidney stones include medication, increased fluid intake, and in some cases, surgical removal. Another disorder we must discuss is glomerulonephritis. It is characterized by inflammation of the glomeruli, the tiny filtering units within the kidneys. Glomerulonephritis can be caused by various factors, including infections, autoimmune disorders, or certain medications. When the glomeruli become inflamed, they may lose their filtering ability, resulting in protein and blood cells leaking into the urine. This condition can manifest with symptoms like blood in the urine, swelling, and high blood pressure. Treatment for glomerulonephritis depends on the underlying cause and may involve medications, lifestyle changes, or, in severe cases, dialysis or kidney transplantation. Let's now move on to urinary tract infections, commonly known as UTIs. UTIs occur when bacteria enter the urinary tract and multiply, leading to infection. UTIs can affect various parts of the urinary system, including the bladder, urethra, and kidneys. Symptoms of UTIs may include a frequent urge to urinate, a burning sensation during urination, cloudy or bloody urine, and pelvic pain. UTIs are commonly treated with antibiotics, and drinking plenty of water and maintaining good hygiene can help prevent their occurrence. Lastly, let's discuss polycystic kidney disease, a genetic disorder characterized by the growth of numerous cysts in the kidneys. These cysts gradually enlarge and can interfere with the kidney's normal functioning over time. Polycystic kidney disease can lead to symptoms such as high blood pressure, back or abdominal pain, and changes in urine production. 
The management of this disorder focuses on controlling symptoms, managing complications, and, in some cases, kidney transplantation. And that brings us to the end of our exploration into the disorders of the excretory system. We have covered uremia, glucosuria, ketonuria, renal calculi, glomulonephritis, urinary tract infections, and polycystic kidney disease. Remember, if you ever experience any symptoms or concerns related to your excretory system, consult a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. Music